on Noosa Pineda. Not sure what my feelings are right now. Um, you kind of need to be able to ride a motorbike to be able to get around. And I've already seen about three or four people with motorbike injuries because the roads are not the best. And if you don't understand the roads or know where you're going and you don't realize about the potholes and everything else, then people come a cropper. So These are the steps that lead up to the room where I'm staying. Everything is very much outdoors here. Yeah, I've um, just spoken to the lady in my hostel. Such a nice family, really recommend this hostel. Um, and she's found me a driver for 250,000 to take me around for seeing all the sites. But I think I'll probably leave and go back to the mainland tomorrow. Um, just because I don't feel comfortable riding a moped here. I, I haven't got enough experience and the roads are too small and people drive in the middle. Um, maybe when I get back to the mainland or go on to my next destination when the roads are a little bit better and hopefully if I'm out in the country or I don't know but yeah if I'm not confident then I'm not doing it. <laughs> so that's my hostel up there. This is the road. I am so gonna get wet feet. <laughs> Goodness, look at the view on that, it's amazing. That is one of the most spectacular things I think I've ever seen. Beautiful. And I believe this is walking over the top of that arch. Makes your legs go a bit wobbly, knowing there's nothing underneath you. Look at the colour of that water. Oh, I'm so glad that I've done this. I was feeling a bit low this morning, but things are now looking up. Yeah, this was well worth it. Even if my driver's a little sketchy. <laughs> Driving along and he's going, how much you pay me? You pay me more money. I'm like, oh my life, he's gonna leave me in the middle of nowhere, stranded. And then he's like, you pay me 250,000. And I'm like, well, that's what I agreed in the first place. And he's like, oh. We are parked up over there and I've walked along my rounds. There's a lot of little houses and shops and those stairs is where I'm headed. So let's go and have a little look up there. I can't get over the colour of the water. This is the Tyrannosaurus Rex mountain, beach, looks great. This is called Crystal Bay. Oh, I wish I had my bathers with me, but unfortunately I don't. So this is about as far as I'll get. Just stopped at this little local restaurant here and my dinner looks spectacular. Maybe this will put a smile on my face today. This is my new hostel. This is my room. Thought I'd give you a quick room tour before while everybody's out. So I've got this top bunk up here a six bed mixed dorm and it's so cold in it <laughs> and we have an ensuite bathroom and shower <laughs> the beds are really comfortable actually everybody's really friendly um, but I've only got two nights here and then I move back up north to rice fields and somewhere small and I've booked a room on my own because I'm feeling really tired again. I just think I need a bit of uh, respite on my own. 
somewhere quiet. Gosh, I need this. Just stopped for breakfast and I've got a smoothie bowl. Looks lovely. Come down to Batong Beach. It's very different from those of Gilead. I was definitely spoiled on Gilead. Don't get me wrong, the coastline is amazing. I'm not so sure I can fall in love with it as much. We've walked from Batu Beach and now I'm heading along towards Echo Beach. I was going to walk up to there, but there's this inlet of water. Yeah, it's a bit deep really. There's a fresh orange juice, tastes lovely. It's pretty good too. Oh, the relief of getting out of Changu. <laughs> Last night was a bit of a nightmare. There was um, a big party going on at the hostel. Quite a few drunken shenanigans, jumping in pools and keeping us awake all night. I've now come to Dina homestay and it's lovely. It's in the middle of nowhere. This is my new little room, apartment that I've got. I'm in this one here. And I have an outside bathroom. And I'm here for two nights. This is the road. <laughs> it's right near a volcano. So because the roads are so major busy, I think I'm going to hire a moped tomorrow because I think I can deal with this traffic. <laughs> oh, I'm just going to go down and find something to eat now because there's nothing here. So you've got to walk everywhere. I found a little restaurant. It's in the back of somebody's house. It was recommended to me. I have no idea what I've ordered. I think it's grilled chicken. on the grill with rice, a beer and a traditional sauce but I'm not sure. So here I am sat, I've just ordered my dinner and he comes out and goes can you wait and he's just gone off to do delivery and left me sat here. <laughs> oh, it's just <laughs> As you do, I'm just going to make a delivery. I'll be back in five. <laughs> and I don't know whether this picks it up, but actually I'm sat on a very low table on a little plinth underneath here. And it's peace and quiet here. I think I've just decided I like the more rural, traditional places. This is what you come travelling for. Not for the big towns where and flashing lights and all the rest of it this is much nicer wow this is lovely but the special Balinese side dish whoa has that got a kick spicy wow when it rains here it certainly does rain <laughs> the sun has gone down and the rain has come out my first morning in my new accommodation and they've just brought me breakfast it's a monster but it's so nice and i've hired a moped so it's just sat there waiting for me not, the traffic is not too bad around here so i thought this is probably the best place for me to give it a go oh my word i've made it that was hands down the worst thing ever i got lost so many times and i'm trying to find an atm that works as well because the hosts where I'm staying have said they only take cash. Well, I don't have enough to pay in cash. The ATM isn't working, no connection here. So it's 20 miles. I can't do that on a scooter. So I have no idea how I'm gonna pay them. I've just tripped down that damn step, whacking my head on the wall. Oh my God. 
my emotions are on a knife edge right now. I don't know what's the matter with me. I should be the happiest I've ever been. And I just can't. I've made it to the hot pools. It's a beautiful day. I've got no money because the ATM won't work. I can't break this scooter. <laughs> I feel a complete and utter failure and completely out of my depth. I don't know if it's because I'm tired. I don't know. Yeah. Pull yourself together, girl. Okay, I'm feeling a bit better now. Had a little bit of a mental moment. The um, ATM doesn't work. And I've got to pay for my room in cash. So the nearest ATM is 20 kilometers away and I'm not proficient enough on that moped to do 20 miles. I got lost so many times coming here and it's like, five kilometers away from where I'm staying. I have no idea how I'm going to get the money. But this is just one of the little hurdles you come across and I'm sure I will work out a plan. The water coming out the fountains is really warm. It's lovely. It is beautiful here, it really is. It was 50,000 entrance fee, which I think is about £2.50, roughly. There we go, leaving the hot springs, feeling much better than when I arrived. Beautiful here. Soak some more. Thank you. Oh joy, I've got to go and find that damn bike again. Back at the mean machine. The brakes, not sure I want to trust them. A little concerning it's held together with Ziploc ties. <laughs> the speedo doesn't work. The fuel gauge doesn't work. It only has one indicator. The horn works great. <laughs> I'm taking the thing back. The roads are great because it's like riding on a runway and there's no other traffic there, but the bike, give me strength. And the crash helmet. Wow. Well, Oh, okay. <laughs> I've seen better. <laughs> oh my God, I've just walked miles for this. <laughs> and now I've had to carry it back. The beer's warm. It's four minutes past three in the afternoon. I'm done. <laughs> I'm having one of those days where you kind of figure I should have just stayed in bed. <laughs> so I'm going to eat this and go and lay down because I'm... Um... <laughs> Okay, so sat on my bed watching a movie, look up, and there is the biggest gecko. Oh my word. My last morning in my homestay, just packing up, and all my laundry has just arrived, all sealed, and packed away. Yeah, it's been nice. Um, I've had a few moments, but I'm feeling a lot stronger now after a couple of nights. Last night, I sat and watched three movies on Disney Plus <laughs> and just did absolute bugger all, all evening. It was wonderful. It was peaceful. Yeah, feeling much better now. So looking forward to seeing Agon. He's coming to pick me up and he's taking me back to Ubud. Oh my word, my clothes smell amazing. They have smelled so musty and you know that smell you get when your clothes have been in a suitcase? Ah, oh, they smell fresh, home-washed clothes. I'm so happy. 